Okay, I am at the Rutherford Street Fair today. This is the side that I'm on, the train. Um, it's pretty early. Not a lot is going on yet, but I have already made uh, some money. Uh, I'm just going to walk up to my space, and I think I'll just talk about how I set up so I can remember for next year. Um, this year, they set me up next to someone who's selling video games. I did bring some video games, not a lot, but um, I don't want. I, I decided to switch up the way I did it from last year. But basically, I, I kept it very similar. Um, I'm walking up to my space now, and then I'll just talk about like what I did. I did put the two tents again, right? And uh, okay, here's my space. All right, uh, we put two white shelves in the back, right? There's Marie's jewelry. She put a. Uh... Oh, we're actually we're, we seem to always be in front of the Boom Boom Chicken, which is well, that's the, the phone number. I don't know, the, uh, 36 Park Avenue. That's where we are. She put a shelf. She put um. She put um, uh, hanging uh, necklaces and stuff like that there. Then here's the other jewelry she put out. M it might be blown away. I don't know. It, it is kind of sunny right here's my shadow too. That's worse. All right. Here's a side view. So anyway, we put the two large tables here for her jewelry, right? Then um, in the front, I put the two thin black tables that I use all the time. And uh, here's what I put on those tables. I'll just show it so I can see what I had. I kind of remember for la next year. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's early. I've sold a little bit. Um, not a lot going on just yet, but I have sold some. Okay, um, and then what I did was I put that brown folding table in the center. So I got the two large tables over there, and the brown folding table in the center where she put her jewelry case. Then I took these two tables for myself. These are the smaller white tables, and I just put one in front of the other like I did on that side. Uh, here's some of the stuff that uh, I did bring today. They bring some good stuff. Believe it or not, some of the stuff here is from last year. So, I'll just show it slow. Let's see, the only thing I've sold so far in terms of decorative is an Austin production sculpture. Uh, and it was like a modernist piece. And um, I actually sold it just for full price. The guy liked it and wanted it. I had 75 on it. He didn't even ask for a discount. I guess he knew it was a pretty good deal. Um, anyway, that's my two tables there. And then what I did was I put another table, and since, I, like I was saying, the guy next to me has video games today, I decided to just switch and put my games on this side. Um, here's uh, just the games that I brought. Uh, only old school I brought, and um, I went back to uh, just as far as GameCube, PS2, and, and then I brought stuff like Mario's, you know. I, I didn't sell anything out of this case yet. Uh, let's see. There are a few other people selling games here today. Not a lot. I'm fixing something. That's why I'm, I'm futzing around over there. So as soon as I fix this, I won't, I, you know. All right. There. Here's the systems I brought. I brought um, about four PS2, about two GameCubes, uh, three Sega Genesis, uh, Super Nintendo, and two GameCubes. And then I brought two cases of CDs. Uh, one thing I found today, this is a side note. I did not buy this, but my friend Francisco, who works for me, uh, informed me about the rare GameCubes, the ones that have the HDMI ports. Did something not know like, about that. Something like a component that you inserted? No, but something that's like got to be good, you know? Yeah, it's it got to make it more valuable, yeah. so... And maybe maybe I can give it to Daryl, he could squeeze some money away. Anyway, that's it. That is my space. Uh, anything you want to add that uh, to this video that's just information or, or anything? Okay, that's it.